Kim Perma from the Praise District that brought that powerful message, Jailhouse Rock. All right, we have Sister Annie Gibbs from Dunamis. Last but not least, Victorious. To our superintendent's wives, the pastor's wives, pastors and their wives, and all of the auxiliary leaders and to everyone that's here, I'm so glad to see each and every one of you. This time last year, I don't know if you remember, we had a storm, it flooded, the streets were flooded, and it rained, and it blew, the wind blew, and we didn't think we were going to be able to make it here, but God allowed us to come even in the storm, but thank God for the sunshine on tonight. Thank God, praise the Lord. Also, I'd just like to thank uh, my family that's here. I'd like my nieces to stand up, Teresa Woodfork and Carmen Lang. Yeah. Both of my nieces, you may be seated. Yeah. One of our special guests, and she's just at home, yes, she is. Mr. Patricia Damo. Amen. With all of any of our visitors that here, that are, you stand, please. I'm so glad to see Pentecostal Temple on tonight. Amen. God bless you, sweetheart. I'm so glad to see you. Amen. And you know, we have a special group that's represented here tonight. And at Pentecostal Temple, we have, well, it's a strange situation there on Tuesday nights. A strange situation. Now, normally on Tuesday night is what? Prayer and Bible band. And usually that consists of who? Women. But somehow at Pentecostal Temple on Tuesday night, those men sort of outnumber us. And with the, the, the number and with the money, I want those that are here represented tonight, I want you to stand, men, Pentecostal Temple later. We have, uh, we have our assistant pastor, Elder James Miller, there. Would you stand, please? Amen. We have the trustee, chairman of the trustee board back there, the man that takes, the, takes care of the money back there. Missionary Cooper and Elder Cooper's in there. Choir, you all really saw. Can't we? We can make it out, can't we? It don't have to be fooling, running over all the time. 
mind and the spirit of the Lord is in there. That's right. And that's what we need and what we want. And young women, I tell you on tonight, all I got to do is say, I'm encouraged to walk with Jesus. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm encouraged to walk with Jesus. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Through hard trials, tribulation, persecution, I'll be faithful. I'm encouraged to walk with Jesus. Yes, I am. And let me not forget my musicians over there, the cannon and words. He went and Ebony was on them drums tonight. Y'all yeah. saw that young lady on the drums? Yeah. Well, we thank God for everything that we have heard, everybody that is here tonight. And they have made my job easy because it seems that we're on the road of encouragement yeah. for one another. We know the trials and tribulations that everybody is going through. And this looked like everybody that got up we're talking about something to encourage. Encourage the sight. So let me see what we have here for tonight. I'm not going to be up here that terribly long. All so right, you can right. time me if you want let's to. Uh, let's see if we can do it less than 20 minutes. What do you say about 15 minutes? All right. We thank God. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be accepted in thy sight. Lord, you my strength. And you are my redeemer. Thank God for the beautiful nurses over there on the side. We've got a wonderful first lady, Barbara Hogan. Barbara, you stand up there and pray. She's a praying woman. She's a praying woman. And just, just a man, I don't know what to say about you. Just something else. That's all I can say. You are wonderful. I love you. Praise God. Sister Maxwell, she's a teacher. And what can I say about Deborah Walton? Y'all know Deborah Walton. What can we say about her? I'm not going to talk about anybody else. God bless everybody that's here. Thank God. And my thought tonight is going to be taken from 2 Timothy 3, 3rd chapter, verse to the 7th verse. I'm not going to bother our theme. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure. I worked on that, and then I got one message, and I got another one, and I got one. And then when I heard Elder Wyatt preach Sunday, I had to make adjustment, and the young lady. So I'm going to be skipping here and there on some of these things. But the scripture, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud and go on down to the seventh verse and you'll see all the listed vices that let you know that the signs of the last days are here yeah. My do I have daughters here I got a daughter over there on the nurse I got a daughter back there kind of helping count the money with Sister Pam thank God for my daughters they, 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 there's something else I tell you the Lord gave me those daughters he knew that I was going to come to this day God bless yeah. you Sister Pratt so glad to see you, Sister Pratt. Amen. Well, I don't know about you, but I've become troubled in the last few days and in the past year. I've cried more tears over people that I don't don't even know. Don't yes. even know. Yes. Because of the horrific things that have come their way. Yes. Oh, all of the despicable things that are happening. Especially within our community within the black race. Yes. What happened? A few years ago we were saying, I'm black and I'm proud. Yes. Say it loud. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Yes. Everywhere you went that you were getting this sign. What happened? Somewhere along the line. Yes. Somewhere along the line we lost pride, we lost love, respect. The hatred that we have for each other. Anger, lack of respect, low or no morals, lack of Christ being a part of the life. Yes. You wonder, where is it going to end? You say, it just can't get any worse. And then something more unbelievable happens. You find yourself saying, what's the use? Why even try? Forget it. 
It's not worth it. They're not worth it. They're not worth it. But as believers in Christ, you, we must reinforce ourselves with the promises of God. Because when you share with your sister and brother, you find that they're carrying the same concern that you are. They too feel hopelessness. Someone has to determine in their heart that nothing shall move me from the word of God. And that I'm not going to lose my faith. Someone has to speak to that self and strengthen that self. Then extend yourself to your brother and sister who is faltering and almost going down for the count. Tell them that God has better things for you. Tell them to hold out. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. Hold on to your faith. Mm -hmm. So now my thought, my main thought is going to be, it will be glory after this. Say with me, it will be be glory glory after this. this. Well, what about it? After this what? Trials, tribulations, and all those things. The victories that we read about come after great adversities are overcome. Mm -hmm. Those victories came by obeying God's way of fighting the the battle. For our weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. God. The walls of Jericho, they came down after following the command to march. Mm -hmm. March around the walls seven times. And it took perseverance and physical fortitude, but the walls came down after endurance, after oath vain. Uh Even when the Philistines were bold enough to attempt a second attack, now they they done got beat one time, and here they got bold again, here they come back again to David in the Valley of Raphium. David was concerned, and he went to the Lord for help. He knew he had won before, but he didn't know about this time. So he sought the Lord for help. And he was afraid to go out on his own without the approval of God. When God spoke, he told David exactly how to fight. Now the first time they had went to the front, to the battle and and beat him. But this time he told him, I want you to circle around behind them and come upon them in the front of the what preachers? in front of the mulberry tree. When you hear the sound of marching in the top of the mulberry tree, then, and only then, you go up and you move quickly. Because then the Lord is going to go before you to strike the Philistine camp. And David did as he was told. He didn't go out till they heard the marching in the top of the mulberry tree. Uh Sometimes God has methods that don't make sense to us. But if we obey him, we will win. Often it is a test of our faith to let us know that where we are in God, whether we trust him as we should, Uh he already knows the answer. But he wants us to know. He wants us to know where we stand. We can call those different victories that come in unexpected or you don't know how they worked out. We call them divine intervention. Take Job, for instance. He was tested by sickness, death, loss of children, loss of wealth. Even his dear sweet wife turned her back on him. But he never let go of his faith. And he was rewarded that he had more that 